Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday, September 6, 2017. Hope you're having a good trading week. It was an okay start to the week, nothing very special in the end. Thought there might be some action early when we were slipping, but uh, in the end, kind of fizzled out a bit. Uh, we gapped down, we went a little lower. We'll get to the intraday stuff in a minute. Let's look at the daily chart here of the ES. This is the front month futures contract of the S&P 500 in daily chart form. And as you can see, we're still really nowhere for the last couple months and really even before that nowhere. So it's been uh, fairly uneventful. We do obviously hurricane, have Hurricane Irma uh, currently holding right above us. That's uh, looming out there in the Atlantic and that's an issue. Uh, hopefully we, uh, that goes as well as it can. It doesn't look good at the moment and it certainly is gonna have an impact on slowing the market down. So let's uh, just be aware of that over the next couple of days, just like the prior hurricane did. Uh, all right, daily charts, crude oil down three cents to 48.62. Uh, yeah, not a big deal there. Gold uh, up $14 and 10 cents. That's a new uh, closing high for the last basically year. Yeah, almost a year on gold. S&P cash, uh, S&P 500 cash index then lost 18.7 um, down a bit. Like I said, there was a gap down. NDX lost 55. Remember, we had a 13 sell signal here on Thursday, so this is really important. It's the first one since the end of March. Socks down 15, um, semis getting hit. Biotech's down 28, which is kind of a blip on the semiconductor index. The VIX though was up $2.10. It was even higher intraday uh, to 1223. Again, this hurricane's gonna cause some impact there. The trend uh, closes at 0.69, two low closes in a row. And that puts the 10 day moving average down to one. Remember, if that moving average gets under 0.85, uh, that's where the, the sell signal comes in on the broad market. NASDAQ volume was 1.8 billion back up from the, the light volume. Now, again, I said Labor Day usually happens, and then traditionally things start to pick up. It might be a little slower going here because of the hurricane, but I think we are going to see improved volume in general. NASDAQ advanced decline ratio negative 835. Uh, New York advanced decline ratio negative 1178. The big ones all took a hit, obviously. Uh, Google down $10.51. Apple down a buck ninety-seven after making new highs last Friday. Amazon down twelve ninety-eight. It's been off the highs for a while now. Netflix down just twenty-two cents, sort of a blip there. Tesla down five dollars and eighty-one cents. And then uh, TLT. This is the twenty-year bond ETF. New closing highs. We're into the gap from the election again at one twenty-eight seventy-six. Interest rates heading lower there. Goldman Sachs loses eight dollars and ten cents. Ugly. Uh, this thing under that two ten level is going to be a mess. All right, let's look at the intraday action. So we'll take a look at five-minute candles. Again, you can see uh, it starts with last Thursday. Then you see the Friday with the small gap up and dead flat going into the long weekend. Then there's kind of like this half day on the ES where they open just to do some light trading. There's no real uh, no real trading. That's for Labor Day on it. Labor Day itself, believe it or not. So then from there, we get a flat opening, but that's down from Friday's close. So that was the gap down for Tuesday morning. We kind of wiggled both ways over the first hour, started to slip lower, and then over lunch, boom. I think as news started to hit about how bad this hurricane looks and where it's headed, uh, that hit us. And then we kind of climbed our way back up out of that late in the day. NASDAQ side, no different. All right. So, again, I think the focal point is going to be the hurricane. I've got to keep an eye on that. But there's also some data coming out on Wednesday. We've got the NBA mortgage applications number at 7 a.m. Eastern. International trade number at 830. Red book at 855. PMI services index at 945. ISM non-manufacturing index at 10. Beige book, the Fed Beige book at 2 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday and Friday. There's a lot of data. We'll talk about that in the next preview, which will be the final market preview of the week. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Wednesday.